what you're going to bring to the University of Washington uh, in terms of what, as far as, as, far as uh, defense, you know, and, you know right. the, the type of defense you run. Well, you know, uh, there's certain things you do defensively, and, it, and there's really, you know, everybody does similar things. It's really about getting the kids to execute. You know, obviously, uh, we need to do a great job of teaching and developing our players, um, and it's, and it's, you know, you always hear the term, it's not what we know, it's what they can do and what they know. So it's important for us to teach and develop those kids. It's going to start with fundamentals. I mean, if you're going to be good on defense, you have to be great fundamentally. I don't care how athletic you are. Um, and so that's, that's going to be where it starts, and we'll do that every day. It's never going to be, you know, hey, we need to get back to basics. We're going to do the basics every day, and we believe in that. And uh, in terms of scheme-wise, we will uh, try and use our people uh, to put them in the best spots we can, and a little bit that, de that depends on who we have and what our strengths and weaknesses are because we don't want to take a, a square peg and try and jam it in a round hole because we want to use the guys we got and play to our strengths. So that will develop over time here. Uh, we have some ideas of what we're going to do in terms of the fronts and coverages based on who we have, but that will develop and continue throughout the spring and into the fall. And now that signing day is kind of over and uh, the recruiting process, I know recruiting is a year-round thing, but mm -hmm. what's your focus right now? Right now yeah. is we're doing both. We're diving into football, which is, is great. It's the first time we got to sit down yesterday and start working on football, which we all love to do. But we also spend every uh, every day a certain amount of time recruiting, and uh, we'll continue to do that you know, 365 days a year because that's what it takes to be good. And uh, it is exciting to get, you know, I'm excited to get to, to know our players a little bit better and, and continue to work with our coaches. But it's very easy to see when you go, when we came to our first staff meeting, what a great group of guys and the type of person, not only football coach, but the type of guy that Coach Sark is. So we're all thrilled to be here. I guess my last question, what is the atmosphere around the office like? It's awesome. Guys? I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's a very positive, energetic environment. You know, it's a very competitive group of guys and and that's what the team has become and, and there's a reason for that and it starts not only with coach Sark but the athletic director and the university itself and, and I, it's a great feeling going in and walking in and be a part of that so now we just got to get get ready to go to work thanks you bet I watched I watched a little bit and to be honest with you I'm not um, trying to go into this with an open mind and give everybody kind of a clean slate and that's how we're going to approach it. You obviously you obviously going to have some you know some of the guys have played more than others and you, you want to have an idea going into spring and building your defense what you're good at what maybe your weaknesses are so we'll try and gauge those we kind of we made a 15 to 20 play cut up of every player on the defense whether they are it's you know to be senior or a redshirt freshman just to get an idea what they you know they're good and they're not and they're bad you know just what they're good at and what they're not so good at so that's how we'll try and build it around there but in terms of what they've done in the past we really want to give them a, a fresh slate and and uh, start start fresh this off season in spring so we can get the best guys out there is there anybody on this roster that you're familiar with uh, having yeah. had recruited yeah when i was at boise state there's a number of these guys that i w was involved in recruiting with and of course didn't didn't get them but uh <laughs> yeah so i i know them uh, a few, handful of them just throughout that process and uh, you know desmond trufant and Howie mm -hmm. Jamora. I mean, I, there's a bunch of them I could name. So some of the, some people think that maybe the psyche itself, when you when you had that the struggle that they had last year, is the most mm -hmm. limited aspect of it. How do you repair that? Yeah. Do you change the whole yeah. culture because everything's new? Do you guys just come in and say, hey, we're all fresh start? Last yeah, last year. you know, I think any any year, whether there's change or not on the staff, it's you have to start fresh in terms of reteaching everything. Uh, you know, kind of. Uh, putting the expectations out there on how they need to practice, how they need to act, all that. And, and I think that's important whether there's change or not. And, and you always get back to that. And, uh, obviously, with, with new coaches here and all that, there, there's automatically a fresh slate. And uh, hopefully, we get a good energy going into to off season workouts and into spring football. Um, but, but hopefully, we can build on that. Yeah. Is there an identity level you expect from your defense? Like Somebody says that's a Justin Wilcox coach defense. How, what do you expect? This is a Washington defense. Yeah, but, <laughs> but what, do you have an identity that you want to have? Yeah, obviously we want to be, you know, and it's the same for everybody. You, you have to be physically and mentally tough. you got to play with great effort. But the one thing that we really have to do in order to be good uh, is execute. Because mm -hmm. toughness and effort won't win you games, unfortunately. Because uh, it just it's not that way. You've got to execute at a high level down in and down out for four quarters or overtime or however long it takes. And we could sit in that room and talk about all the defense we want and know everything, but what, what needs to happen is our kids do what we say they're going to do. 
plays, mm -hmm. and that's what's got to happen, and that's execution. And if you're going to be good on defense, you've got to execute. Now, do we have to develop our players? Absolutely. Do we need to get better at positions? Sure we do. Do we need to recruit? Absolutely. But at, at the end of the day, it's about execution, and that's that's what we'll be judged on. Can you teach that moment the truth? I mean, as a coach, can you teach it? Some people are talking about guys were in plays and they didn't make plays, but can you teach that or is it in a guy? It's, there's a little bit of both, I believe, and I think it has to do with, obviously, them knowing what to do, their ability level, um, their confidence. Um, there's a lot of things that go into that, and I wish it was one answer I could give you, but it, unfortunately, it's not that easy, I don't think. Without Just pointing fingers and mentioning... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'll, you go first. You, you, I, let her go first. Okay. Oh, go he's for so it. nice. Yeah. Um, without, I don't know what the rule is with not commenting on specific recruits at this point in the thing, but I mean, as far as the class that, that came in. Yeah, we can like, comment on them. Who, who you do you want to talk about? Oh, Shaq. I mean, how excited are you about some oh, of the? Oh, no. stop. <laughs> some of the, the defensive guys. Well, we're always right? excited, especially you know the new guys, and, and that's uh, you obviously have certain guys with, that have. Uh, you think can maybe play a little earlier mm -hmm. and certain guys you think maybe a little more long term but there's some kids in there we really wanted to go in and improve our our speed uh, mm -hmm. we need to recruit some in the secondary uh, we need to continue to develop our front seven uh, mm -hmm. for sure um, but obviously a couple of those guys should ha come in and have an impact and they're going to have to i mean really they're going to have to come in and play next year and how much they play right. will depend on really how ready they are and some of them will play the first game and some of them will play maybe the third game and you know, we just got to see, but we're going to be very aggressive in preparing them within the guidelines, within the rules of getting them ready to play the first game. And do you know, having been down at Tennessee, what this deal is going down to LSU? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, you've been there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great environment. I hope you guys are going. You'll love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Did you, did you yeah. know Sark before? You know, I had never met him.